Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Capricorn. This is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for July, okay? So we're just going to see what comes up for July. What do we have? Well, we got, we got a few of the emails, so we're going to take those. <clears throat> woman dealings or relationship with a woman so you'll be dealing with some woman even if you're a woman this is about relationships something that comes up in this reading is going to have to do with the relationship that you have with a woman okay whether it's a ex or it's a friend or or it's another woman this is a, this is a female okay rooster an arrogant, boastful person you should not cross. Well, that's a little scary, isn't it? I'm sure you can handle it, Capricorn. Um, Barrel. You feel something is lacking in your life. Perhaps love, money, or goals. So you feel like something is lacking in your life. You do have a boastful, arrogant person around you. It's a woman. Sounds like fun. All right. Let's see what we got. What do we have for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? <clears throat> One card didn't pick up. I got to show it to you. An invitation is coming. So you're going to be receiving an invitation to something. This woman could be an Aquarius. I'm not sure. It doesn't have to be. Could be Aquarius, Sun, Moon, or Rising. Okay. Definitely going to be dealing with a woman this month. There's some sort of wish that is going to be fulfilled for you. Maybe this woman is jealous. I don't know. What do we have for? Um, I don't know if it's a mother or a stepmother or a mother-in-law because that's what I want to say, and I don't know where that's coming from. Um, but anyhow, what do we ha what do we have for? It could be a wicked stepmother, mother-in-law, or I don't know why I want to say that. Um, anyhow, what do we have for uh, Capricorn? That's a pile. We don't want a pile. Oh, there we go. Replace your fear with faith. You're going to need to replace your fear with faith. We also have Sagittarius. So you could be dealing with a Sagittarius. Um, this is also some sort of hit. So I also feel like it's some sort of hit. Also, I feel like luck is on your side. I feel like luck is on your side. Um, there is somebody around you that you need to be aware of. Um... Because whenever I see that arrow, that arrow is going to get shot. You know, that's a, that's a hit. It's real close to, you know, you see that kind of thing. Um, I don't know why I feel so strongly about that. Um, replace your fear with faith. This person may be trying to scare you in some way. This woman. Intimidate. I feel like this person wants to intimidate you in some way. It's almost like they're barking at you. You know, they're gonna they're they're running their mouth. Maybe you feel like hitting them. death death so there's there's something going on here but death is is change okay it is change this is expl explaining something we got somebody here that is explaining something to a child you know i'm not sure what is going on here um 
unprepared, three of wands on the bottom in reversed. Okay, that's unprepared, lack of foresight. Uh, something is going on here. Something is going on. Uh, profound change with that death card. That is endings that lead to new beginnings. It's transformation. It's change. It's, uh, well, you know, do you know what death is? Death, death is the end of one thing and the beginning of something new. And there's some sort of explanation here. So I'm not sure what is going on if you're dealing with a Sagittarius or an Aquarius, but they're, they're, uh, you're going to need to have faith because there's going to be a change and it's probably going to be... Well, change is never easy, so let's just see what we got. What do we, what do we have for Capricorn? You know, endings, you know, death leads to new life. It does lead to new life. So maybe it's the end of one life and the beginning of a new one. Hermit. Time out. And time to reflect. Time to think about everything that has happened. Page of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles. Could have to do with a family member. Father. Oh, um, it could also because of the hermit. That's that's it doesn't have to be a father. This is you could also be dealing with a Virgo, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn with the Page of Pentacles. Could also be a sibling. It could also have something to do with a child. And I'm not saying that there's a death of. I mean, I don't know. Uh, Ten of Pentacles is family. I feel like this has to do with a family member. Um, something is changing in your family dynamics. Somebody is going down a new path, could be you, could be, and because this is a new path, okay, this is starting a new journey, it really is, kind of like the fool, but it's not, it's starting something new, it's a new endeavor, it's a new prospect, it's a new opportunity, it's not going to be easy, there's hard work ahead, a need to refocus, you're going to be focusing, starting a new path. Okay, you're going to be gaining some sort of enlightenment. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Um, the hermit is a very wise individual. Jesus consciousness, becoming aware, becoming self-aware. I feel like you're going to be going through some sort of awakening this month. You're going to need time to heal. You're going to need time to go within. You may need to be alone. Some of you may be going through a separation. Death is a separation, okay, from what was to create that new life. So that's a transformation. So you are going through some sort of major transformation. You're going to be embarking on something new. You're going to, this could be a new offer that you're getting. Whatever this, the Page of Pentacles delivers a golden opportunity for permanent success. But you will be starting over. You will be, or you will be starting from scratch. You may be, this could be a new job. It could be a new home. It could be a new uh, relationship. It's something brand new where you're going to be starting from scratch. But it does lead to prosperity and abundance and success. Okay? Some of you could be receiving a gift. could be money. You could be receiving a gift of money. I don't know who this is from, but, you know, this could also be the, the change on the home front. The hermit is going within. Time to reflect. A time out. You are going to... Oh, Ten of Swords on the bottom. This is this is the end of something that somebody has been suffering. This is the end of suffering. This is freedom. It is liberation. This is the straw that breaks the camel's back. Can't go on this way. We may have somebody here that has some chronic health problems. They are not recovering. They re, they're not recovering. They've reached the, the breaking point. This is... This is uh, physical or mental collapse of some sort giving up giving up something about you made this is your the bed you you made your bed now you need to lie in it somebody's going to have a lot of time to think about what they have done um, page of cups, that's good. 
five of a five of wands which is which is petty bickering fighting games two of wands reversed it could be a sudden departure sudden arrival all of a sudden something changes twos are about changes choices made there's a choice that is made i feel like there's some sort of drama here some sort of fight because the five of wands is now right in the middle three of swords reversed so there is some sort of suffering this is the end of suffering uh five of swords reverse wasn't that just wonderful we have a hostile situation here that is unfolding um it's better to walk away than to fight don't fight don't fight with this person the best thing to do is for you to turn your back and walk away there could be some consequences here um judgment reversed guilty uh, feeling guilty, uh, somebody could be found guilty. You know, the Five of Swords reverse could be crime being exposed. There could be a crime, a crim crime. Somebody could be committing a crime. Two of Swords reversed. That is crime being exposed as well. Lies being exposed. Choices, consequences with the judgment reverse. Somebody's going to be getting some consequences. They maybe end up in court. They, I don't know. Ay, 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 ay. Oh, God. Uh, judgment reverse. That's bad karma. That is a poor judgment call. Guilty. No chance. Lack of forgiveness. Forgiveness is needed. There's definitely some fighting going on here. Five of Wands, Five of Swords right next to each other. A need to block, a need to walk away. There's somebody in your family or in your environment that is causing a lot of tension for you. This is tense. It is tense. But the Page of Cups is typically emotions. You're probably going to be in your feelings. There's something that is happening. It's sudden. You're going to need to have faith. Definitely expect the unexpected. I think you there's going to be some unexpected conflict this month. There's some sort of competition here. Right in the middle, there's competition. There's some sort of competition where, uh, I don't know, it feels like I don't know if it's at some family get-together or something and some drama unfolds. There's definitely a woman here that's going to cause problems. Judgment reverse, poor judgment call, lack of awareness, not very knowledgeable. Guilty. Somebody is guilty. They are guilty of hurting another person. Oh my God, I can't believe this has happened. What the hell is this? Becoming self-aware, becoming aware of some sort of truth. Somebody, There's some sort of truths that are going to be revealed with the judgment re reversed. There's some, there's somebody has been lying about something. There's, there's a need to be honest with yourself. Are you, some of you may just be feeling uneasy about a change. Maybe it's a change in your environment. There's some sort of uneasiness here. Maybe you need to have faith and trust. You need to have faith and trust that this is an opportunity that can bring you prosperity, that can bring you comfort. I feel like you are receiving a golden opportunity to start a new life. But you will probably have to walk away from something that has been causing you a lot of strife. I'm gonna pull it and I didn't even know it. Anyhow, um, you because the five of wands is strife. You are gonna be dealing with some strife and I feel like it's because you have to make a choice. You have to make a decision. And the best thing to do is to leave something behind that, I 
don't know, maybe you loved it at one time. You really, 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 really loved it. Change isn't easy. This is a very, it's a massive change with the death card. It's an ending. Death is permanent, right? But after that, you, the seeds grow and you start a new life. It's kind of like that butterfly. It's like the cocoon into the butterfly, you know? It's like becoming that butterfly, that beautiful butterfly. But the cocoon, is it's over. Okay, that stage is over. That stage is over. You need to open your eyes. You need to open your eyes. You need to see what's right in front of you. You have an opportunity here. You are receiving a gift or, you know, an offer or you're making an offer. This is something solid. It is something stable. It is something real. But I feel like you're, you're, you're pushing something away that can really bring you, you know, comfort. It can bring you a lot of comfort. It can bring you a lot of happiness. Making a poor judgment call. You know, having a hard time making a choice. I feel like, I feel like this month you are going to be put into a position where you have to make a big choice. Has to, I feel like it has to do with a family member. Maybe it has to do with moving towards this family member or this family moving toward family member more moving towards you or the movement of a family member. Maybe it's even, you know, I don't know with that death card could be have to do with a, you know, I don't know. It could be, you know, I don't know if, if there's a death of a family member. I mean, I hate to say that. I really do. I don't like to say that kind of stuff. Um, but death is a reality. Two of swords reversed that is seeing clearly, becoming clear, coming out of denial, making a choice, being torn, being torn in two different directions. You've been torn. This is it's decision time. You know, there's an you there's an opportunity for stability and happiness here, but you are going to have to stop fight. It's almost like you're fighting with yourself. Or you're fighting with a family member. Three of Swords reverse is on the path to recovery, leaving the past hurts behind. Forgiveness. And for in the three and the uh judgment reverse is forgiveness as well. But uh, forgiveness is needed in both those cards. There's some sort of forgiveness that is needed. Forgiving, forgiving the past, forgiving, forgiving the past, or forgiving something. Yeah, it has to do with a father, because I mentioned father. Two of, so, two of wands reversed is making a decision as well. Somebody has been undecided. They have been undecided, and they're, they're, they are undecided. There's a need to focus on the future. They're stuck, trapped. Somebody could be fighting over money. There could be, this could be the woman you're dealing with. This is fighting over money or fighting over who gets what. F Five of swords reversed. That is betrayal. That is hostile. It is tension. It is mourning as well. We have mourning, like mourning a loss. And it, I don't know if it's a family member or it's a home because of that 10 of, or it's a business or whatever it is. Somebody is like mourning a loss. Maybe it's somebody that just didn't win. They didn't win because we have a battle here. We definitely have a battle right in the middle. Five of Wands, the middle card, that is a battle, that is a fight. It, this is like battling, competing, strong competition.
Somebody is making a poor decision to fight when they should just walk away. I don't know who that is for. Focus, you need to focus. Focus on your future. Leave it behind. Forgive, maybe it's forgiving the past. Forgive the past, forgive something. Somebody needs to forgive something. Not answering the higher call with the judgment card reversed. Somebody is not answering the higher call. They're making a poor judgment call. And it has to do with fighting because the five of wands and the five of swords are right before that poor, that poor judgment call. Those are both fighting cards. Don't fight, just walk away, be humble. Hermit is about humble. Be humble. Walk away. There's no, and I'm not, and I know you guys are very, pretty much, a lot of the times, very reserved. Maybe there's a family member that picks a fight with you or somebody. Could be a child. May have something to do with a child because of the Page of Cups. Could be fighting over a child. Page of Cups, Five of Wands. There is something to do with a child here and a father maybe because we have the Page of Cups and the Hermit. doesn't have to be a father. It could be anybody. We have to actually have two children here. We have the Page of Pentacles and the Page of Cups. So something about children or a child. Replace your fear with faith. You have a woman that is arrogant and boastful. This person's gonna pick a fight with you. <laughs> this person uh, likes to fight. Be humble. The first card out is the Hermit card. Humble. You could also be dealing with a Virgo. Four of Swords. Now, I always say the Four of Swords is the death of a situation. Okay? This is time out. Take a break. Again, because there's somebody here I feel like is ill. They're ill. They could even be mentally ill. Um, there's somebody here that is ill. And I and I also feel like there's... there's uh, a need to pray, a need to pray. Maybe you need, somebody needs to pray, pray for help. <laughs> oh God. Get prepared because there's gonna, you're gonna be dealing with some challenges this month and I hate to say that. I'm Capricorn Moon, by the way. And my son is a Capricorn. Um, Four of Swords, that is sick. Get prepared. There's either an arrival or a departure. Get prepared because this is this is get prepared. The three of wands. Something is coming. Conflict by the looks of things. It does look like conflict. You are totally unprepared for it. There's some sort of bad karma here as well, with judgment reversed. That is bad karma. There's some sort of consequences. Maybe it's for previous actions, for hurting somebody in the past. The Five of Swords reversed next to the judgment. That's hurting somebody in the past. Time out. Time to go within. Time to reflect and heal. Plan your next move. Some of you may be planning a move. If you are planning a move, this is a good move. Maybe this will, might, maybe this new life, this move will spark your new life. And that's when things start to blossom. That's when you transform. That's when the beauty comes out. There is some sort of move here. I also feel like you're going to be receiving some sort of emotional support from somebody 
There is somebody here that really, really loves you and wants to be around you. They probably want to be close to you. They need you. Maybe they need your help or something like that. It's almost like you're fighting change when it's time. It's time for you to embark on this new endeavor. There is a, there is a new endeavor here. There is somebody that maybe needs your help or something like that. Or you need their help or both, vice versa or both. Anyhow, Capricorn, I believe that you are headed towards something more comfortable, very comfortable. Maybe it's a, it's a more comfortable life. You may be unaware that that's where they're leading you, but they are. The, the judgment card reverse is unaware. It's lack of, lack of, you know, seeing it. There could be a sudden departure here as well. Somebody could be leaving. They could be leaving very, very suddenly. It breaks you free from some sort of contract. Page of Wands reverse. That's not good news. That's not good news. Um, I think I, f I feel like we're we're dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or an Aquarius. Um, bad news. This isn't well suited for you. It's time for you to go in a new direction. What are you waiting for? Some of you have a family member that is sick. Just saying. You may be unaware that they are sick, but they are. I also feel for some of you, you're going to be receiving an offer of love that is absolutely real. It's stable. It's solid. This is somebody that has been alone for a while and they want to start a family. Or they want to be part of a family. Perhaps you've been praying for this. We have prayers here, you know. So somebody's been praying for something stable, solid, real. If that's the case and you're single, well, I, that could definitely be happening at this point. There's so many different stories here. Bottom line is get prepared because you are about to embark on a new life. But change isn't easy, and there's gonna be conflict that comes along with it. May have to do with your children or another family member that doesn't agree with the decision that you are making. Good luck.